Welcome to the palace. Enjoy the class. Okay, we will start slowly. Thank you very much for joining this morning. Hola, Ed. How are you? Um, I will mute everybody so that we don't have any things happening. Okay, so I wanted to talk this morning a little bit about some wisdom of the child that has been being constantly sort of brought up for me in my life. And it, and it began the other day, I was sitting watching a, a Jiva Mukti teacher from Russia, Anna Lunagova, and I was transcribing her class with my roommate. And we were sitting, just watching her teach, I was making notes, um, and, and he, he looked at me, and he's just done his yoga teacher training. And he asked me the question, do you think I will ever be able to teach a class like this? And, and I sort of, like it, it hit my heart, you know, like I was so like frozen by this pure question that was just presented to me from a grown man of innocence and humility. And it was like, wow, that was super beautiful the way you put that question openly out to the world with, with no adult thinking, you know, just purely like I have this aspiration to be able to do this. Do you think I will ever be able to do it? Of course, of course you will be able to do it. And over the last 12 months, I have also been doing my apprenticeship with the beautiful Karina, who also teaches. And she has a little son, Gabby, who is beautiful. And we would have mentor meetings where we would dissect my um, teaching abilities and what I needed to work on, what I needed to learn. And, and often Gabby would be there playing in the background. And we would be talking strictly yoga alignment, you know, or, or things. And then I would watch Gabby, you know, running around, destroying things, doing whatever a two-year-old or one-year-old does at that point, however old he was. Um, and his form of bending down to pick something up was, was perfect. And, and it made me realize that, that we are born in this state of, of purity. And, and often life entangles itself around us and it sometimes inhibits us from being able to see clearly how simple things in life can be. And I remember it also comes back to when I used to work as an electrician. I was, I was riding what's known as a high voltage switching sheet. And they're, they're these long complicated step by step documents that, you know, this after this, lock this, do this, do this, do this. And I would be trying to wrap my brain around how we were going to sequentially do some operations. And I would get stuck and then I would ask my boss, who was a very, very smart man, and say, look, I'm, I can't seem to get this to work. And he would look at it and he would say, you know what, go home, go to bed, go to sleep, let your mind go blank, come back tomorrow and just look at this situation from a fresh mind, from let your brain switch off. Don't think too much about what you're trying to do because you're overcomplicating this whole thing. The answer is there and you will find it if you just allow yourself to stop thinking so much. And I think that if we are inspired by children, it, it is a way that we can sort of break the shackles that's caused by the intellect of our mind sometimes. And we re-engage with ourselves from a very pure place, a very raw place of expression and love. And if this is a trend in your life where you find these complicated situations arising and you're struggling, maybe try approach the situation like a child with pure expression and just let yourself express how you feel. And very often things kind of fall into place. And there's another, there's a Zen Buddhist monk, Suzuki Roshi, 
he is a fantastic human being. He writes, he writes books and he writes a book called The Beginner's Mind. And The Beginner's Mind explains how we must be, as he explains it, flower fresh and mountain solid. So our practice being yoga is a lifelong practice. It's here forever. So in that sense, there's going to come times where we're going to not feel overly enthusiastic about our practice because we've been doing it for so long or we might have hit a plateau with the advancement in our asana practice or our breathing is not as calm and relaxed as we would like it to be. And, and here, our practice can become stale and we lose that, that flower freshness. So if we somehow need a re you know like a bit of a re-spark with our practice then try the inspiration of a small child you know looking at the world with this awe and this wonder of how all this came to be and just appreciating what is arising not trying to understand what is arising uh, because i found the, the depths of this yoga practice, the depths of the mind, the depths of this whole complicated reality that we've found ourselves in, many times it's not explainable by reason and intellect. And it's kind of a, a hindrance to us to try and think our way through how we're going to advance ourselves as practitioners. And we, we need to sort of go beyond the mind and the purity of a child is something that really helps carry us to that place. So I will invite you to come onto your mats. Coming into a child's pose. And now embody this posture for what it is. The position of the child. Touch your forehead down on the floor. Allow your breathing to be calm and relaxed. And as you breathe in, just be fully aware of the in-breath. Feel the breath enter your body. Know you are breathing in. As you breathe out, be fully aware of the out-breath. Feel the breath as it leaves your body. Know you are breathing out. Following this practice into the present moment, we awaken our vow to cut all disturbances. This is our time for practice. Now deeply let go. Deeply let go of every phenomenon. Deeply let go of all things in the mind. And just be. Just let yourself be. No future, no past. Just presence. Embody this sensation. Extending the arms forward, lengthen both sides of your body, tucking the toes under and lifting the hips back and up, find your way out or Mukhaswanasana for the first time. Let the knees be soft. Lift the sitting bones back and up, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Even pressure in your hands and your feet. Feel as if you're suspended from the hips, lifting up. Push the air deep into the back of the lungs. Allow yourself time and space here. Keep your shoulders away from each other. Upper arms rotate outwards. Feel the space between the shoulders. Touch the tongue to the tip of the palate. Clear the space. Good. Inhale, move your body forward into a plank position. And exhale, lower your knees, your chest and your chin to the floor. Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, slide forward into Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, push your seat to your heels and extend through your legs, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, move forward into a plank. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest and the chin down. Inhale, slide the body forward, Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, push seat to heels, extend your legs, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out.
Good, now walk your hands back to your feet. Slowly but surely. Now take your elbows, let your head hang, let everything relax forward, deeply surrender. Strongly press the feet down into the floor. This is your strength. This is where it comes from. We pull the energy from the floor, sending it forward through to the crown of the head. Sway the torso from side to side. Good, switch the hands on the elbows. Just take the arms the other way. Your breath is present, always there, always something to anchor to. Good, release the hands to the floor. Now keep your hips where they are, but walk your hands back to the front of the mat. You want your hips as high as you can. Find downward facing dog again. Lift the sitting bones back and up. Now it might feel okay to extend the legs. Push the air deep into the back of the lungs. Commit to your breathing, commit to your practice. And now walk the feet towards the hands. Lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, fold in. Good, tiptoe your feet as wide as your mat. Have your toes facing slightly outwards. Bend the knees, come into a deep squat position. Press the elbows into the knees, clear the chest, open the heart, breathe deep. Feel the air enter the back of the lungs. Push your elbows more into your knees. Take your elbows a little wider, lift the chest. Take the crown of the head high. Stay with your practice. Be still. Be humble, be kind. And release the hands to the floor, extend the legs. Tiptoe the feet back together and then roll your way up to standing vertebrae by vertebrae. Standing in Tadasana, we are solid like a mountain. We feel our feet touch the floor. We commit fully to our practice. Breathing in, we know we are breathing in. Breathing out, we know we are breathing out. Arriving in this present moment, we awaken our vow to cut all disturbances. This is our time for practice. As you inhale, take your arms up overhead, look to thumbs. Exhale, fold all the way forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower yourself. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Lift the sitting bones. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, and exhale, soften your knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift the torso, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, release. Good, again, movement and breath are one. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, chaturang. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep your breath moving. Now, the Surya Namaskars at the start are designed for a warm up. And when we're in down dog here, we're not here to rest. Press your hands, press your feet firmly down into the floor. Let the energy meet in your hips. Really challenge yourself here. The more you push your hands, the more you push the feet, the more you'll activate the body. Now push the air through your body and feel your body warming up from the inside out. The Ujjayi breath is meant to warm you up. Follow it, commit to it. Soften the knees and look forward. Inhale, step or jump. Spine long, gaze full. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso, look up. Exhale, release. Good, again, inhale, take your arms up with intention. Exhale, fold forward, strong legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. 
Inhale. Exhale, four, clear the palate. Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift arms, lift torso, look to thumbs. Exhale, release. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, deeply bend the knees, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward and extend through the legs. Inhale, pull the torso forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, clear the heart. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale, step the right foot forward, left heel down, come up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, left foot steps forward, right heel down, come up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, stay there. Inhale, exhale one. Press the hands, press the feet, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath, inhale. And exhale, soften the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine is long, gaze is forward. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Inhale, hook thumbs, reach up and arch back. Exhale, bend knees, swing your arms behind your back, fold in. Inhale, hands to floor, right foot steps back to lunge, listen carefully. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, rebend. Now exhale, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, Palakasana. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, elbows tucked in. Inhale, forward, cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, seat the heels, downward facing dog. Inhale, step right foot forward to lunge. Exhale, left foot next to right, fold over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, hook your thumbs, extend your legs and arch back. Exhale, bend your knees, swing your arms behind your back, fold in. Inhale, hands to floor, the left foot steps back. Now exhale, extend through your right leg. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, palakasana, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, forward into cobra. Exhaling, tuck toes, press seat to heels, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward to lunge. Exhale, right foot next to left and fold. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, reach up, arch back. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Separate your feet as wide as your hips. Have your hands on your hips, press your feet firmly down. Lift through the chest and arch back slightly. Then exhale, fold in, bend the knees if you need to. Peace grip your big toes, lock your thumbs onto your peace fingers. Lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, fold in, elbows wide, chest to the thighs, breathe. Good, really send the air into the backs of the legs. Charge the legs, energize the legs and let the crown of the head hang forward. Zip up the legs more, press them down into the floor. All four corners of each foot are engaged. Your elbows are wide, your shoulders are away from your ears. Clear your chest, clear your heart, fold in more. Keep pressing the feet down, it will help you fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Now soften the knees. Slide your palms underneath your feet. Good, now inhale, lengthen the spine, lengthen the legs. 
Exhale, fold in elbows wide, chest to thighs. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale with your practice. Inhale, exhale, three, two more. Really fold, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, stay there. Inhale, flat back, hands to hips come up. Exhale, step your feet back together. Inhale, take your arms up overhead. Look to your thumbs. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Nice jump, Patricia. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky as you inhale. Exhale, right knee to the chin, bring it through. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, right knee to chin, bring it through. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, right knee to the chin, hold there. Inhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Exhale, hold, round your spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, land the right foot between the hands. Inhale, lift arms, lift up, high lunge. Exhale, one. Inhale, extend through your right leg. Keep moving. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhaling, extend. Exhale, bend. Two more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Breathe deep. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, hands to floor. Step back into a plank position. Exhaling, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left leg to the skull. Exhale, left knee to the chin. Inhale, go back and up. Lift the leg. Exhale, bring it through. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, left knee to the chin and hold. Now press your hands down into the floor. Pull your left knee into your chest a little tighter, round through your spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, land the foot between the hands. Inhale, lift up, high lunge, arms up. Exhale there. Inhale, extend through your left leg. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebend. Three. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebend. Four. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, hands to floor. Step back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Ardha Mukha. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. You've got five breaths. Use them. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, and exhale, soften your knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, lift arms, lift torso all the way up. Exhale, release. Good, deeply bend your knees, come into Utkatasana chair pose. Take the seat a little bit lower. Now I want you to fold forward and place your ribs on your thighs, but keep the arms reaching forward. Reach the sitting bones back by bending the knees and reach your fingertips as far forward. Stay here. Take your seat a little lower if you can and reach your fingertips forward. Lengthen through your body. Keep going lower and keep lengthening the sitting bones back. Arms forward. And then exhale, fold over, extend your legs. Inhale, lengthen spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, left heel to the floor. Inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale one, bend the knee a little more. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Flip the right palm up and as you inhale, reach the right fingertips forward. Exhale, take it up to the sky, left arm on the left leg. Breathe, lengthen the side body here. Really press the right foot down into the floor and reach your right fingertips high. One more breath here. Exhale, 
Inhale, extend the right leg. Keep reaching back, exhale. Inhale, exhale, find length. Inhale, and exhale, bend the left knee. Come back into warrior two. Breathe, settle. Inhale, windmill the hands to the floor. Step back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, left foot steps forward, right heel down. Come up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Bend your left knee more. Sink into it, good. Stay here, breathe. Now inhale, flip your left palm up, reach forward. Exhale, take it back. Reach your left fingertips high, find length. Really press the left foot down into the floor. Bend your left knee. Challenge yourself to lengthen the side of your body. One more breath. Now inhale, extend through the left leg. Find more length. Keep reaching that left fingertip higher, pressing the left foot down firmer. Good. Stay with your practice. Breathe. Inhale, re-bend the left leg. Find your way into warrior two. Stabilize yourself. Inhale, hands to the floor. Step back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Now exhale, soften your knees, look forward. Inhaling, step or jump. Spine is long, gaze is full. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift arms, lift torso all the way up. Exhale, release. Now as you inhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Turn to face the back of the mat. Have the left foot facing the back of the mat. Have the right foot into 45 degrees. Your left heel is in line with your right inner arch. Take your arms wide. Press your feet down firm. And as you exhale, reach your left fingertips forward. Go down. Trikonasana. Inhale. Exhale. One. Your gaze is on your right fingertips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ball the left foot firmly into the floor. Extend that left leg more. Roll your right hip on top of your left. Make sure the outside edge of your left of your right foot has contact with the floor and squeeze your legs together. Push that energy through to the crown of the head. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay for a little longer. Lengthen it if you can. Be solid. Good. Now inhale, lift all the way up. Turn the left foot to parallel the feet. Bring the hands to the hips. Really press down into your feet. See if you can feel the inner arches of both feet lift. Lengthen the spine and arch back slightly. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Prasarita Padottanasana. Now lengthen the spine again. Look forward, pressing the palms down. Exhale, fold in. Let your head be relaxed here. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Keep the weight in the toes. Don't shift the weight back into the heel. Stay firm. Stay strong in your feet. Good, squeeze your legs together and that will create space in the pelvis for you to fold in a little bit deeper. See if you can challenge your sitting bones to rotate outward slightly. Good, stay for a few more breaths. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, stay there. Hands on the hips, inhale, come up. Now turn your right foot to face the front of your mat. Have your back foot at 45 degrees. Make sure the right heel is in line with the left inner arch. Take your arms wide. And then as you exhale, reach your right fingertips forward. Push your left hip back. Go down, trikonasana. Gaze on the left fingertips now. Length through to the crown of the head. Squeeze your legs together. Challenge both sides of your body to find length here. You want both rib cages expanding forward. You want the neck to be an extension of the spine. And roll the left hip on top of the right. Make sure the outside of your, your left foot still has contact with the floor. Be solid. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Now, inhale, come all the way up. Keep your arms wide. Exhale, step the left foot back next to the right. Tadasana. Inhale, equalize the breath. Exhale, be solid like a mountain, but fresh like a flower. Good. Take one step back on your mat. Lift up onto your toes. Keep up on your toes. Lift up more like a ballerina. Really press your toes down. Squeeze your legs together. Keep your shoulders on top of your pelvis and start to lower the seat down to the floor. 
all the way down. Go slow, take your time. We have space, we have time. Once your seat finds your heel, separate your knees wide. Bring your hands to the mat in front of you. Extend your legs slightly and press your knees into your triceps. Lengthen the spine, look forward, shift weight into your fingertips, come up, bakasana. Point your toes, really look forward. Challenge yourself, you might be able to extend your arms a little bit more. Good, now if you're here, stay. Squeeze your elbows together. Find space in the back body. We'll stay for a little bit longer. Exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, look full. Inhale, step or jump. Spine is long, gaze is full. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up to your fingertips, reach prayer hands up, all the way up. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Good, lift your right knee into the chest as you inhale. Now take the outside edge of your right ankle, place it above your left knee. Bend your left knee. Yes, squat down. Now fold your torso forward. Keep your hands into prayer. Press the sitting bones back. Fold a little deeper. Stay there. Try and bend the standing leg even more. Get right down, it'll open the hip up. Nice bouncing, Rebecca. And Patri too. Go a little lower. Good, now, take your hands to the floor and extend your standing leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Release the right leg to the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, soften knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump. Spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, take arms up to the sky, look up. Exhale, release. Left knee this time, pull it into the chest. Take the outside of your left ankle, place it just above your right knee. Now bend your right knee, squat down first. This is going to open the hip. Now fold forward. The more you bend the standing leg, the more you're gonna open the hip and the more lotus is going to become available to you later on. Bend the standing leg, keep pushing the sitting bones back. Add a little bounce if it feels good. Good, stay with it. Good, now release the hands to the floor, extend the standing legs, fold in. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the hip. Exhale, downward facing dog, release both feet to the floor. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, soften the knees and look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine is long, gaze is forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, release. Now we're gonna do Ekapada Galavasana. So we're gonna give you two options. Gonzalo will do the first one of coming in the same way we just did. So you cross your right ankle on top of your left knee and fold forward. The second option, we come in from a tripod headstand. So we start here. We do the same action with the legs. Then we pull the left knee in and then we hook the arm. You might want to stay there or you shift the weight into the fingertips and you come up. The option is yours. So if you're coming in the normal way, cross your right leg across, fold yourself forward, bending the leg. Now really hook the elbows underneath the bent leg. Press the hands down into the floor. Good. Bend the elbows into Chaturanga arms. Hook the foot on the outside edge of the arm. Look forward and press your hands down into the floor and lift your hips. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Maybe the leg finds balance, maybe it doesn't. It's okay. Be patient with your practice. Good. Stay as long as you can. 
Then lower yourself down. Take a child's pose in between. Come back to that presence of a child. Reconnect with it. Touch the forehead on the floor. Feel the earth underneath you. We came into this life with such awe and wonder of what is around us. It's so beautiful to watch a child just climb a tree. It's all it needs to be happy, you know. Extend the arms, lift the hips down and face and go. Soften the knees and look forward. Jump your way back to stand and roll your way up to stand. Other side, bend the left knee into the chest. Take the outside edge of your left ankle above your right knee. Fold yourself forward. Add a little bachata in there. Down you go. Hook the elbow on the knee. You really want to try and get the left leg as high up on the triceps as possible. That helps with the balance. So if you're struggling to get up, try and move your left leg higher up on your arms. Press weight down into your fingertips, bend your elbows, look forward in front of you. Now hook your foot, hook your right leg on your tricep and the foot will sort of catch it for you. Stay for as long as you can. And take it back, lower it down. Child's pose one more time. Deep breath. Good, extend the arms, push it back downward facing dog. Deep breath in, reconnect with your breath. Deep breath in. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now inhale, step your right leg to the outside edge of your right hand. Exhale, drop the left knee down to the floor. Inhale, pull the chest forward. Exhale, lower down onto your forearms. Good. Now if it feels okay, tuck your left toes under and extend your left leg back. Be strong through your left leg. Challenge your left heel all the way back. Lengthen the crown forward. Pull the chest forward. Keep your spine extended. Sink down a little bit more. If you're totally comfortable here, you're totally welcome to thread the right arm underneath the right leg and find a bind. If you find the bind, pull your arms away from you, your shoulders down your back and expand through your chest. Keep driving the left heel back towards the back of the mat and finding length in this posture. So the right arm goes underneath the right leg, then the left arm goes around the back. You catch the left wrist if you're doing so. Stay with this. Good. Now release the bind, take the hands to the floor, lengthen the chest. Now exhale, fold forward, touch the crown of the head to the floor if it's available, interlace the fingers and take the arms behind the back. Open through the shoulders. Roll your shoulders open as best you can. See if you can have your right shoulder just on the inside edge of your right knee so that your right leg's holding you up. Sink your hips lower. That's it. Good, inhale, hands to the floor and step back into a plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, inhale, left foot to the outside edge of the left hand. Exhale, the right knee down to the floor. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, go down onto your forearms. Now pull your elbows in towards your body. Lengthen the crown of your head forward. Now you can extend through the right leg. Press the right heel as far back as you can. You really want that energy all the way back into the right heel as if you're trying to push your foot back. Lengthen the crown of the head forward. Now you might want to stay here or thread your left arm underneath your left leg. Then take your right arm around the back and catch your right wrist. If you've found the bind, Pull on the bind backwards, extend both arms, lengthen the crown of the head forward, create space in your collarbones. Bend your left knee a little more, sink into it. Good. Now release the bind, hands to the floor. Now, however way you want to come in, interlace your fingers. Crown of the head, we're trying to get the crown of the head down onto the floor. Roll the shoulders open. Take it deeper. Challenge yourself. Left shoulder on the inside edge of the left leg. No weight being supported. Good. Release the hands to the floor. And exhale. Step back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, soften your knees and look forward. Inhale, step or jump. Spine is long, gaze is full. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your shoulders all the way. Exhale, release. Now, squeeze your legs together. Be solid, be strong, and just put all your thoughts in order. Your breath, your bandhas, your drishti, all together. Good. Equalize your breathing. Be rhythmic with your breath. Be committed with your breath. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandas. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into a plank. Exhale, down onto your forearms, low plank. Hold it there. Squeeze. You're on your forearms, so your forearms are on the floor. Good. You can interlace the fingers. One straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. Squeeze the belly in. Be tight through the tummy. Find length, find space. Commit to your breath. Walk your feet in, find a dolphin pose. Lift your sitting bones high. Now as you inhale, see if you can take your chin to touch your thumbs. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, take it back, stay. Lift your sitting bones higher, walk your feet in a little bit more. Now release your hands flat to, your floor, flat to the floor. Try and have your hands parallel to each other. If you're comfortable here, stay, work on the shoulder strength. If you want to, extend the right leg to the sky, soften the left leg. And as you inhale, hop up, pincha mayarasana. Stay balanced, press the forearms down. And wherever you are, lower yourself down. Find your way into that child pose of deep surrender. Extend your arms forward. Find your way into a downward facing dog. Inhale, go forward into a plank. Exhale, chaturanga all the way down onto your abdomen. Now bring your forearms to the mat and come into a sphinx position. So your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Your hands and arms, forearms are parallel to each other. Pull your chest forward, lift your chest, clear your heart, breathe deep. Look up, extend the crown of the head forward and up. The neck is an extension of the spine. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Pull your elbows in towards your body and pull your chest forward. Stay with it. Open the spine up. Good, now bend the knees and catch the ankles from the outside edges. Roll the shoulders back and down and inhale, lift up. Kick the feet into the hands as hard as you possibly can. Open your chest. Breathe deep into the back of the lungs. You're balancing on your abdomen. Kick harder into your hands. Kick further up. Go more. Exhale, lower down one cheek to the floor. Move your hips from side to side. Bend the knees. Take the ankles again. Open the chest. Roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale, up you come. Exhale, one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Kick harder, come up. Good, commit to it. Be with it. It's not going to last too long. Go up. And lower down. Allow yourself time and space.
Good, hands underneath the shoulders, press the floor away from you. Lift up into a downward facing dog. Inhale, jump the knees to the, between the hands into a kneeling position. Knees to the floor, you're in a kneeling position, that's standing. So, <laughs> your shoulders are directly on top of your knees, your hips are also in one line. Bring your hands to support your sacrum. Feel your tailbone, tuck it down and forward, lengthen the spine. Good, now press your hips forward, press your knees down. Lift your chest and expand your spine upwards. Then arch your way back. Whatever feels best for you today, you might want to stay there or reach for the heels. But make sure the energy of your hips is always moving forward, your chest is always lifting and you're always creating space between your vertebrae. Keep pressing the knees down firmly. Lifting the chest, breathing deep into the heart. Good, press the hips forward. Engage the core, inhale, lift up. Sit back, point your feet, sit on your heels. Lengthen your spine, compose yourself. Whatever is arising for you, just let it arise freely. Twist to the right, look over your right shoulder. Come back to centre and twist to the left. Now we'll do another one. The option to go deeper into um, taking the head to the floor is completely optional. So come to stand up on your knees. Point the toes this time. If you want to keep your feet tucked under, that's fine. Hands on the floor, uh, hands on the hips. Push the hips forward. Lengthen the chest up, then take it back. Now, if you find your heels and you want to try Lagopadrasana, feel free. Slide your palms up the back of your calf muscles in towards the knee joint. Keep the energy of your hips lifting and then lower the crown of the head to the floor. Stay composed. Good. Now make your way all the way up. Take a seat back on the heels. Bring the hands to the floor. Find a downward facing dog. Walk the feet in slightly. Now take your left hand to your right ankle and look out underneath your right armpit. Just twist the body, reset the spine, make yourself comfortable. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more, inhale, exhale. Good, now release the hand to the floor. Now take the right hand to the left ankle, look out under the left armpit, twisting the spine. Lift the sitting bones here. And release. Good, inhale forward into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, all the way onto the abdomen. Extend the right arm forward, roll over onto your back. Lying on your back now, bend your knees. Have your heels close to your buttocks. And as you inhale, Press the heels down, lift the hips high. Good, if you know Setu Bandhasana and you can do it safely, feel free to come into Setu Bandhasana. Move the chest towards the chin. Otherwise, Ardha Ulva Dhanurasana that Gonzalo is demonstrating is fine. Keep pressing the heels, keep lifting the hips. Roll the shoulders under a little bit more, move the chest a little bit more towards the chin. Challenge your legs now, press like you've never pressed before. And release the arms alongside your body. Good, stay there. We're moving into the full wheel variation, so your hands will come next to your ears. If you don't want to do full wheel, please just do the first variation. Press the hands, press the feet evenly, come up. Now really challenge yourself here. This is a common place in the practice where people choose to not do the practice. Come up, press your hands, press your feet. Walk in if you can, tighten it up. Press more, lift up, create space in the heart. Breathe deep, chin to the chest, onto your back. Allow it, be with it. Observe it. 
and then understand eventually it will pass. Good, hands come next to the ears, fingers face towards your body. Again, inhale, lift up. Exhale there. Walk in if you can, press more, hands and feet evenly, lift up. Hips high, challenge yourself, stay with it. Push the air into the back of the lungs. Chin to chest, down you come. And last one, hands next to the ears, fingers face towards your body. Inhale, press up. Exhale, walk in. Now, there's a variation I will offer. It's, op it's optional, you don't have to do. Walk your feet together. Pull the right knee into the chest. Extend the right leg high to the sky. Press your left foot down firmly. Point your right toe. Find extension in the right leg. Extend up. Good, lower the right foot down. Switch it over, left knee into the chest. Pull the left knee in firmly first. Then point the left leg high, extension through the left leg. Then lower it down, chin to chest, come all the way down. Breathe, be with it. Hug the knees into the chest. Just hold yourself there. Extend both legs high to the sky. Wrap your right leg around your left leg. Double wrap, include the calf muscle. Now just shift your hips slightly to the right edge and let your knees fall over to the left side. Breathe here. So there's a, the method of Ashtanga Yoga teaches us there are six emotional poisons in our body. They are karma, which is desire, Krodha, which is anger, moha, which is delusion, lobha, which is greed, matsarya, which is envy, and mada, which is sloth. And the light that is in our heart is covered by these six poisons. So what we're doing in vinyasa is we're combining the air and the fire to boil the blood and purify our bodies from the inside out. Bring the knees back to centre, switch the wrap of the legs, left leg around the right leg. Move the hips to the left side and then let your knees fall over to the right side. Gaze can be out over the left shoulder. Combining the movement and the breath is a powerful tool. It purifies our body from the inside out. The more we commit to our practice, the more we purify our physical body. The more we purify the physical body, the more we can penetrate into the subtle body. The subtle body we'll get to a little bit later on. Good. Hug the knees into the chest. Unwrap your legs. Take your forehead to your knees. Round the spine fully. Stay there. Just squeeze yourself into a ball. Be okay with this position. And then rock and roll up and down your spine till you come to a comfortable seat. Spin around, face the front of the mat. Extend your legs forward. You can have a slight bend in your knees to begin with if you feel okay. Extend your legs fully. Press the sitting bones firmly down into the floor. Remove the flesh from underneath the sitting bones. Make sure the ankles and the knees are together. Activate your quadriceps. Pull Mula Bandha in and up. Lift the chest. Keep the ribs tucked in. Extend the crown of the head up. Keep your chin tucked in a little bit more, Gong. Yes. Now, keep that form and exhale. Fold yourself forward, hinging at your hips. If you can reach the feet, take the outside edges of the feet. Take the elbows wide and create space through your collarbones as you pull your chest further towards your legs. If it feels okay and you had your knees bent, now would be a good time to extend the legs. Stay here. Activate the quadriceps and press the backs of the legs down into the floor more. The more you stabilize the base of the posture, which is the backs of your legs, the more you will be able to fold forward. So press the backs of your legs down, fold yourself forward. 
crown of the head is an extension of the spine. So you want your head extending forward towards your feet. Keep folding forward. Sit with the discomfort. Be okay with the discomfort. Know too that everything in life is impermanent. It will pass. The drishti is down the nose here. And the drishti helps us stabilize the mind by fixating our gaze on a single point. It's pretty normal to life. If we're looking around, distracted by many things, it's hard for us to focus. Through this practice of following a drishti, we focus on one point. Here our attention becomes singular, becomes direct, and it becomes intentful. Be with your drishti at all times. Commit to your drishti. It really, really increases the power of your practice. Stay for a few more breaths. Surrender yourself forward. Inhale, come up. Separate your feet hip distance apart. Place the hands next to the sitting bones. Press down into the hands, lift the hips, come into a tabletop position. Now, if you're comfortable in your tabletop, you want a little bit more, extend the legs, bring the feet together and have the soles of the feet touching onto the floor. Keep lifting through the chest. Keep rolling the shoulders open. Keep expanding through the heart. Push the air deep down into the back of the lungs. Lift the hips. Press the feet down firmly. Challenge yourself. Lift higher. Open your shoulders. Extend your neck back. Lengthen the spine. One more deep breath. And lower the seat all the way to the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, good. Now let's pull the knees into the chest. Open the knees wide. Press the soles of the feet together like you were trying to really squish something between your feet. You want to press the feet together. Now you're going to take your hands and open the tops of your feet up like they were a book. Feel that energetically open your hips a little bit more. Press the outside edges of your feet firmer together and roll your hips open. Now take your hands, pull your chest forward, pull your pelvis forward. Exhale, fold yourself over. Now this asana is accessed more deeply by pressing the feet together and surrendering yourself forward. So squeeze your feet together like you're trying to have a baby between your legs. Keep pressing together. Press the feet together. Roll the knees open. And come up as you inhale. Now extend the legs forward, take the legs wide. Separate the legs wide. If you feel like you need a block or something underneath your sitting bones to access the posture deeper, it will be good because we'll come into Kurumasana afterwards. So, um, if, you're not, if this is not your strongest uh, range of motion, please put a block underneath your sitting bones. Press your sitting bones down into the floor and lift your chest. Clear your heart. Exhale, fold forward. Take the outside edges of the feet. Now, it has to be the outside edges of your feet. Don't take anywhere else on your feet. The outside edges of the feet with the hands. Bend your elbows out to the side and open your chest. Push your sitting bones back and lower yourself down using the pressure of pulling your chest wider. It will help you access the posture. It's a lot more convenient to take somewhere else on the feet, but I promise you it is best to take the outside edges of your feet. Good, keep spreading the collarbones wide, keep accessing it. Sitting bones, down and back, chest forward, lengthen the spine, open it up. Go Rebecca, you're getting there. Keep pushing those sitting bones back. And inhale, come up. Now, just bend your knees. What you're gonna do, slide both palms underneath each knees and out to the side. Now, from here, you might just want to stay here. If you feel like you can, what you're gonna do is extend your legs and it's gonna pull you in deeper. Kormasana. Good. Patri, extend your legs more. Fully. And flex your feet. Beautiful. Okay. 
breathe. Surrender forward. Good. Now bend your knees slightly and lift up a little bit. Walk your feet together so your heels touch. Now thread your arms under the same way, but take them back towards the back of the room. And then you're going to thread your arms around your back, trying to find a bind. If you find a bind, that's cool. If you don't, that's okay too. Feet are touching. Let your head drop down. If you're a super senior student, take the legs behind the head. Come into Dwey Pada Shiv Shastana. Patricia, Dwey Pada Shiv Shastana is achievable for you. Please come in. <laughs> Surrender forward. This pose is um, like a turtle. And sometimes in life we act a bit like a turtle, you know, we go into our shell because we are intimidated by thoughts that we've probably generated about a certain situation or circumstance that we've over-intellectualized. And it's not until we pop our head out of our shell that we realize that a lot of the doubts that we had were created from our own mind. And in reality, the situation is probably a lot better than what you've anticipated. And very slowly start to release yourself. Good. Hug the knees into the chest. Cross the right leg in front of the left. Press the hands down next to the sitting bones. Lift yourself up. Exhale, swing your legs through and jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Step or jump your way through to a sitting position. Extend your legs forward. Pull your right knee into your chest. Right knee into your chest. Sweep the right foot to the back of the mat. Good. Pull the knees together. Lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. See if you can roll your right sitting bone a little bit firmer down into the floor. If you can reach beyond your foot, grab the wrist, loop the shoulders back and down. Come forward a little bit more. And inhale, come up. Now bend the left knee into the chest. Take both hands around the left foot. Extend the left leg to the sky. Point the foot if you can. Lift the chest, clear the heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Open the chest. And release the foot down to the floor. Extend the left leg forward. Now pull the right knee out to the side. Keep the right foot pointed. Good. Bring the hands into prayer. Bring your left elbow and hook it on your left knee, on the inside edge of your left knee. Now press your palms together and look out underneath your right shoulder. If you're comfortable here, stay. Or extend your right arm up to the sky. Reach the right fingertips high and take the right arm over and catch the outside of the left foot. If you need to, keep pressure on the left elbow. Keep rolling the chest open. You want to roll the chest open and you want to eventually be popping the head out underneath the right armpit. One more breath. Inhale, come all the way up. Good. Extend the right leg forward next to the left. Pull the left knee into the chest. Sweep the left foot back and around. Try and lower the left sitting bone down into the floor. Lengthen the spine, lift the chest, clear the heart. Exhale, fold yourself forward. 
Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Loop the shoulders away from the ears. Pull the chest forward. Crown of the head reaches forward. Good. Sitting bones are grounded and we're lengthening the chest forward. And inhale, come up. Now pull the right leg into the chest. Take both hands around the right foot and extend your right leg up to the sky. Good, point the foot, bend the elbows, pull the foot in towards the chest and now bring your chest towards your leg. This is Crown Chasana. It's from the second series of the Ashtanga sequences. Good, look up, challenge yourself. Extend your leg. And come down. Now sweep the left leg to the outside. Keep your left foot pointed. Bring the hands into prayer. Bring the right elbow inside edge of the right knee. Press the hands together and rotate your chest open. Look out over your left shoulder. Reach your left fingertips high to the sky and take your left arm overhead. Catch the outside edge of the foot. Keep that pressure of the right elbow rolling and then eventually you might want to pop your head out underneath your left armpit. Be present. Surrender forward. Lengthen both sides of the body if it's available for you. Inhale, lift up. Extend the leg forward, both legs forward. Pull the right knee into the chest. Take the right foot to the outside edge of your left knee. Reach your left arm up. Exhale, twist. Look out over your right shoulder. Aramatsyendrasa. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, lift the chest, twist a little deeper. And come back to center. Just exhale, derotate to the left. Inhale, back to center, extend both legs forward. Now pull the left knee into the chest. Take the left foot to the outside edge of the right knee. Ground your seat, reach your right fingertips as high as you can and then twist to your left on an exhale. Hook the elbow outside the knee. Lift the chest and twist deeper as you exhale. It's two motions, lifting, then twisting. Press the seat down, lift the chest, twist deeper. Gaze out over your left shoulder. Complete your practice fully. We're dedicated practitioners. Then come back to center. Extend the legs, derotate. Cross the legs in. Lift up, jump back. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Inhale forward to plank, exhale lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, slide your body forward, Bhujangasana and just stay there. Press the pelvis down, open your chest. Roll your shoulders down, crown of the head reaches forward. Lower ribs are on the floor. And lower yourself down. Extend your right arm forward. Roll over onto your back. Now, take your legs overhead and catch your big toes. All the way overhead. Halasana style. Now, have your big toes in Halasana. Now take your legs as wide as you can. As wide as you can, really wide. This is Supta Konasana. And release the hands alongside your body. Bring your feet together. Now bring your hands to support your sacrum and walk your shoulders underneath, setting up for shoulder stand. Press your hands into your back. 
Ground your elbows, squeeze your elbows together, lift one leg to the sky, then the other. Squeeze your legs together, challenge the ball of your foot, feet upwards. Shift a little bit more weight into the elbows, press down a little bit firmer and lift yourself a little bit higher. Now if you have lotus in your practice, feel free to take your legs into lotus. If you don't have lotus in your practice and you'd like to access something similar, rotate your feet out so your toes are facing away from each other and your heels are touching. Now bend your knees and have the soles of your feet together. Patri, bend your lotus to 90 degrees. See if you can bring your hands onto your knees. Good. Now there's no weight on the hands, you're floating the knees off. And then if you want, take chin mudra. Good, wherever you are. If you're in lotus, take the lotus into the chest, take a bind around the lotus. If you're not in lotus, take the legs overhead into halasana. If the feet find the floor and you're in halasana, extend the arms, press the forearms down into the back of the mat and challenge your sitting bones to go a little bit higher. Patri, can you wrap your arms around your lotus? No, bother. See, you can. Wherever you are, release your arms to the floor. If you're in lotus, stay in your lotus and lower yourself all the way down onto your back, vertebrae by vertebrae. If you aren't in lotus, legs to the floor, press your elbows down, lift your chest, come into Matsyasana. Now, if you're still in lotus, grab the feet, pull on the feet, lift the chest, press the crown of the head down. Breathe deep into the side ribs here, side of the lungs, push the air in, Push the air out. Breathe deep like a fish. Fish have to breathe very deep. There's not a lot of air in the water. Good. Stay a little longer. Press the elbows into the mat, lift up. Chin to chest, lower onto your back. Extend your legs forward, just allow yourself a moment here. Roll over onto your stomachs, take a child's pose, preparing yourself for Shushasana. Interlace the fingers, take the crown of the head to the floor, squeeze the elbows nice and tight, press the forearms down firmly, make a solid base. Inhale, lift up, extend the legs to the sky. Now we'll move through some variations, they are very optional. If you're stable in your headstand, bend your right leg to 90 degrees. You're not doing wrong? Right leg to 90 degrees. No, no, straight. Straight leg, just bend it down to right 90 degrees. No, no. So we're here. We bend our right leg down to 90 degrees. Then we take our right leg over to the left side of the room and we twist our body. Inhale back to center. Left leg goes down. 
stable here. Left leg goes to the right side. Twisting deep. Inhale back to center. Good. Now take the legs as wide as you can. Deep breathing. Forearms are solid. Bring the legs back together. Bring the right knee into the chest. Wrap your right leg around your left. And bend both knees into the chest. Point your left foot. And release the legs. Point them to the sky. Bend the left knee. Wrap your left leg around your right. Double wrap. Include your calf muscles. And when you're ready, calming down, finding child's pose. If you're in child's pose, just take your knees a bit wider. Just open the hips a little bit. And deeply surrender. Deeply surrender all the ideologies we've put together over the course of our lives. Let go. It's a process of letting these things go. Find your way to a comfortable seat. Make your seat stable. Have your shoulders away from your ears. breathing exercise. Very simple, just retention of the breath at the top of the inhale and retention of the breath at the bottom of the exhale. If at any stage the, the count, you know, the, the retention or the kumbhaka is uncomfortable for you, just release and breathe, it's okay. Um, in order to make the kumbhaka more comfortable, lowering the vrittis in the mind really helps. Let go of all thoughts. Just be with it. So we'll exhale fully to prepare. And we begin. Inhaling. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, 
two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Release your breath. Now let go of any modifications to the breath. Let your breath become its natural rhythm. Close your eyes. Be completely still. And focus. As you breathe in, know you are breathing in. Commit to that breath. Feel the breath. And as you breathe out, feel that breath. Follow it. Breathing in, you become fresh like a flower. And breathing out, you become solid like a mountain. Another beautiful practice that I can learn from children is when they make a mistake or they get something wrong, they very quickly forget about the problem and just go back to what they were doing. And meditating is the same thing. As the mind starts to fluctuate, we become entangled in a thought. We might realize that. So without getting frustrated with yourself, when you realize this has happened, smile to yourself. Offer yourself love and kindness, compassion and equanimity, and then very calmly return to your practice. Take your way to a comfortable position, lying down on your back for Shavasana.
deepen your breath. to move the fingertips and the toes. Turn your head from side to side. Reach your arms up over. Stretch if you're waking up. Roll on to one side of your body. Make your way to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together in front of your heart into a prayer. And inside of this prayer, just place your inner child. That pure, innocent light which is inside every one of us. We dedicate this practice to the benefit of all beings. May all beings be happy. May all beings be at peace. May the thoughts, the words and the actions of our lives in some way contribute to that happiness, to that freedom for all. Namaste.